What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to week four of Golazzo here on FSI. I'm Alex Hooper at Lex Hooper on Twitter. Give me a follow there. And also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to FSI, uh, leave a comment on who your favorite plays for week four are in Fantasy Premier League DFS. All right, let's get into it. Week four picks and strategies, mostly strategies, but we will go over players. Let's take a look at the odds really quick. Um, starting here with Watford and Wolves. Um, Wolves, the slight, slight, slight road favorite. I hesitate to call people favorites when they're not even, you know, negative money, but uh, juice on the under at two and a quarter. Uh, Brighton, again, a road favorite against Brentford um two total juice on the over um a little bit city visiting Leicester city the favorite there uh two and three quarters United the big favorite on the slate minus 512 Newcastle plus 15 35 three and a quarter goals with juice on the over Ronaldo's debut um, that's where most of the ownership is going to be this week, and we'll get to that. Um, Southampton, West Ham. West Ham, again, a slight favorite on the road. I'm actually a little surprised at this line. I thought West Ham would be a little more favored, um, but hopefully it reflects a little bit in the salaries and we can get some value there. Juice on the over at two and three quarters. And then Arsenal at home against Norwich. Uh, Arsenal, a solid favorite here. The, what, second biggest favorite on the slate? Yes. Um, with a two and a three quarter total. So let's take a look. Um, this is kind of the build that I expect a lot of people to start on. Ronaldo, um, if starting, which is a big deal, uh, at 9,200. I mean, in GPP, you probably need two goals out of him, but in cash, you can get away with just that one goal, probably. Um, I'm going to move over here to Sofa really quick and see if he's even projected. And I haven't seen him projected, and we don't have lineups, so it doesn't matter. I haven't seen Ronaldo projected in a ton. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to be just featured in 30 minutes, especially if you know you're at Old Trafford. Bring him on, let the fans cheer him. Or you just let him share when he scores. Anyway, um, so just using the skeleton, we're going to look at uh, kind of how you can build or fade, et cetera, et cetera. I'll probably just clear it at some point. Uh, I want to do something different really quick. I want to look at the keepers first because there's some leverage plays there. Um, De Gea, obviously, 5,900, like he'll be high owned in GPP, I imagine. You know, that, that feels like a free goal. At 6,000, you know, that's like a cheap goal. Uh, Lano, 5,700. I feel like you just find the 200 to get up there. I don't know why Ederson, I don't know why anyone would play Ederson at 56. Um, it's not like he's a huge clean sheet uh, favorite here. I can see getting to Fabianski at five. Um, I don't really want any part of the Wolves or Watford keepers, to be honest with you. Um, I could see some Brentford and uh, Brighton ownership at keeper just because, you know, it's not a high total game. Two teams don't score a whole ton. Yeah, Southampton, whatever. Uh, as far as cheap keepers go, I would say it would be cruel and schmike. I think a lot of people are going to get away from Woodman. So, all right, so really quick. Your keepers to get leveraged against are De Gea, we'll say Fabianski. Um, you could pick a side here, but I don't know that there's going to be a ton of ownership, so I don't know if they're getting a lot of leverage. Um, and then maybe some Arsenal guys for the people who pay them. So I, I just want to do that really quick so I can establish a baseline because there are going to be times where, you know, I'm talking about leverage and you can – get a ton of leverage against keepers it's not there's not a ton of negative correlation between goal scorers like if if united has a ton of possession 
then obviously that negatively correlates with the chances of a Newcastle goal. But you don't get a ton of points for just possession. You know, like you can get accurate passes. Depending on what you do in possession, you're going to rack up some points. So if you think one game goes one way and not the other, like you can you can find ways to leverage that, but there's not a ton of direct leverage there. So you're mostly working on ownership here. Okay. So let's start at the top of the forward pool now. Mikel Antonio at 10-5, very capable of getting two goals, very capable of getting a goal and an assist. Um, with Ronaldo on this slate, I mean, if you're going here and you're looking at this build, I mean, technically you can still make something out of this. Um, I know I want to say Fornals is still very cheap. Like you're not going to be able to get some of these guys, but I mean, you're, you're looking at a triple punt here, but you can get a ton of goals out of here and some floor here. So I, that's actually not the worst build. All right. Let me, let me see if this is actually doable. Let's go cruel because you're not playing. Yeah. So you can actually do it. You can fit it in. If you punt two center backs here, go for it. All right, I ended up clearing it anyway. You saw who was in that kind of holding situation. All right, so Greenwood, um, again, like with Ronaldo, you can do it. I prefer to get cheap goals, but you can do it if you think they put up five and most of the goals come from that area. And then if you can find a cheap goal elsewhere, then great. Um, I don't think you're going to get a ton of ownership on Gabriel Jesus. I'm not going to get some of them. At 9,400, I don't think. Um, really, all the City guys against us. I mean, Leicester hasn't been great, but I'm not really targeting City. They're going to be priced up because they're City. Um, Gross against Brentford, 8,900. You can play him in cash. I don't see a whole lot of reason to play him in GPP. Uh, Nicola Pepe. I really like Arsenal here. Can't believe I'm saying that. Um, they've been bad, but... Norwich isn't great. They Arsenal needs to back or bounce back eventually, and this might be the spot to do it at home. Um, but boy, if they don't do it, Arteta is going to get booed off the pitch and probably just sent straight home from the Emirates and never come back. Um, again, City like eighty four hundred for Mars. I think that's your best spot for City. I mean, goal threat, floor threat, um, depending on who's in. And who's not in if De Bruyne doesn't start Mares does there's something to be said for that um but also like you have Gundogan who actually has high goal scoring odds you might prefer to get to him um Grealish takes away some of Mares's open play value but it's not it's not direct I I don't hate this price I'm not dying to get to it um again Abba at Norwich sure um, not even the best goal scoring odds if that's something you go by uh, on Arsenal. Neither of those two guys. Um, ben Rama at 82, probably better than Antonio if you need some savings. Uh, not better as a player, but a good place to get. Sterling, sure. Um, Inacho hasn't played, even though he probably should at some point, maybe not in this match. This pairing right here, two of my favorite uh, forward plays on the slate. Again, I really like that Watford Wolves match. I think both teams are a little more open than you expect, um, especially given recent trends. And I think that one could go off. I honestly wouldn't mind playing Sar and Triore with Dennis and Jimenez and kind of game stacking there. If I had to game stack, that might be where it would be. Um, but you don't have to game stack and you could probably take your Ronaldo and then go try to write Jimenez or you could even go sorry Jimenez and try to get both sides. You don't have to play that correlation, but I generally like to. So that's probably where I would go. Um, Bowen 7,700. I hate playing Jared Bowen, uh, especially. Let me just look at his game logs really quick. I mean, he's crossing the ball still, and you're playing West Ham or uh, Southampton. I don't know. I mean, that's. I think West Ham should be bigger favorites, and 
that's a good way to get exposure at a pretty cheap price. Maybe play Bowen. Bowen for now. So we already saw for now's price, and we'll revisit that. All right. So Lock is at seventy six hundred. If he starts, highest goal scoring odds for Arsenal. You know, the probably the cheapest. He'll be in a lot of my lineups if he starts for sure. Uh, Vardy, whatever. Giovanni, if he starts, <laughs> I don't. I don't even know if he's with the team. Um, I don't love Southampton here. Uh, but Armstrong will go very low owned, I imagine. Da -da, Vlasic, I doubt, will start. Good player. Um, I, I'm i interested to see what he does for West Ham. If he starts, I'll be interested at 7,100, but I doubt he will. Let's see. Saka at 6,700. Like, again, these Arsenal guys at their prices against Norwich at home. And Lord knows they need a win. They stand out to me. So, Saka at 6,700. Definitely a guy I'm going to be keying in on cash if he starts, but we'll see. Maupai at 66, not horrible. 65 for Rumble Jimenez. Like, it, you got to pay that. That's that's a really good spot. He's been actually kind of active in open play. Um, I mean, just a lot of shot volume, I guess I should say. Drawing fouls and interception. How about that? Yeah. So, I mean, like, he hasn't scored a goal and 7.4, 8.5, 11 against Spurs, Leicester, and United. Uh, like, God, the more I look at it, the more I want to play him in every one of my lineups. Um, but don't do that. Che Adams, nah. Love Che Adams, but. Uh, more likely to get to him than Armstrong. Tony against Brighton at 6,300. Love it. Um, might rotate him in. You know, I'd rather get to tw the 200 for him and Ennis, but for the sake of diversification, I'll get to Tony. Uh, Dennis is 62. Love it. If I'm playing Sar and I have that salary, I will pair them all day long. I really like Emmanuel Dennis as a player, as I've said on here plenty of times. Um, if I can get that correlation, I will, and I'm sure I'll get to it. Martinelli, if he plays, it's fantastic. All right, so here's some direct leverage right here. I mean, if you think De Gea is going to be very owned, Callum Wilson, I mean, one of the fastest players in the Premier League, he can get behind a defense. And also the thing to remember about United is if Ronaldo starts and if he's playing 75 minutes, like you're automatically a worse team if you have Cristiano Ronaldo in your lineup defensively. You're a worse defensive team. Like, he does not press anymore. Um, he's not going to track back. You know, not like not like Harry Kane's tracking back and, you know, playing the ball near the midfield or anything like that. But, like, at least he gets in the box. Uh, Ronaldo's not going to do much. Like, I think if you're not playing De Gea in GPP, I think Wilson – Callum Wilson and Alan St. Maximin at 5,500 are like fantastic leverage plays. I absolutely want to get to those guys. Um, unless I'm, if I'm playing De Gea, then obviously you're not doing that. Uh, and Buemo, 5,400, great. Uh, Trossard was awful for Belgium the other day, and uh, he just hasn't gotten off the mark really. To skip anyone? Bernardo Silva was great for Portugal, but. That's Portugal. Uh, Pookie at five. Rashica at five. Go ahead and play him. Just because I love Arsenal doesn't mean I don't think they can see. Um, I just said I love Arsenal. Yikes. Um, just because I like Arsenal on this slate. Uh, you, can, you can get to these guys very easily if you need the savings to get to, I mean, hell, if you want to play Ronaldo and Fernandez, like these Norwich guys are – Nice. Or you could run it back with a Newcastle guys, punt down a keeper, something like that. Josh King, if he starts, 47. Again, I like that spot. Not my favorite play there, but sure. Um, going back to Newcastle, Joel Linton, Alvaron, if you really want to get crazy, there's some salary savings. Ken Sima at 38. Hasn't really done as much as you'd expect for Watford so far. Um, worth a shout. I don't know what I'll plan. All right, midfield. 
talked about Antonio. I guess we just need to talk about midfield eligible only. So again, uh, with Bruno, if Ronaldo starts, and I know Gator talked about it um, on his Mayo show, and I know we'll talk about it on his preview here. If Ronaldo starts, um, Bruno is not going to be as good a play, probably. And when you think about spending, you know, two fifths of your salary on the two of them, like they need. Fernandez would have to score in open play because Ronaldo's going to take penalties. Um, he would have to grab some assists. I could, like, I think that's a fade, unless you just want to fade Ronaldo. If Ronaldo plays and you want to play Fernandez, I don't think that's the worst thing to do. I think that construction is going to be low owned. Um, is it my favorite play? Probably not. Um, I'm more likely to fade both if I'm not playing Ronaldo. I'm in that case, I'm just getting off of United, probably. I don't think there is a situation. If I can put them together and make a lineup where I feel like I can get enough goal upside elsewhere, like with a, a Puki and a Rashica or a Puki and a Newcastle guy, and I'm taking, you know, Tim Krul or Casper Schmeichel a keeper and hopefully can get some floor out of my defenders maybe but i don't think that's a build that's going to be very plus ev um again city with de Bruyne and Grealish, we haven't really seen the two of them play together we don't know how they're going to affect each other's open play value i'm just probably going to stay clear of that um not playing de Bruyne is not a thing that i'd love to do or not do um, but he's not healthy. So, all right, Ward Prowse. So the thing with James Ward Prowse is his open value play, open play value rather is super high. Um, West Ham has been great so far, but even in their big wins, you know, they only have 51 to 53% possession. So if they go up early, all of a sudden you have a negative game script for James Ward Prowse, which is what you want is him to just be crossing the ball. And, you know, you want Southampton kind of on the front foot because you want him to take free kicks. You know, there's the cross equity and the goal equity from probably the best free. Well, now that Ronaldo's here, I don't know. I can call him the best free kick taker in the Premier League. So, but he's there. And I think you're going to want him in most of your lineups as kind of an anchor. The other thing that's nice about him is you don't need to correlate him. And I don't know that I will, unless, you know, I'm just sitting there and it's just like Che Adams, but you saw some of the other options in that range. I'll probably get there instead. All right. Good one. Again, uh, one of the higher goal scoring odds. Um, let's see if I can pull this up really quick. I think he had one of the higher goal scoring odds for City. And at that price, I have no problem paying for that. Do we have goal scorers? Sorry, I'm doing this live. No. All right. This is also something really quick that I like to check is with the 2 1. Yeah, see, I, I don't love the top odds for specific scores being scattered like this. It's just this game scares me. Team props. All right. So I can't do that. But I believe I saw that Gundogan had pretty high goal scoring odds. And if that's your thing at 7,500, like that's your exposure to City, I think. Pogba. You know, Pogba's been so good. I actually don't think that's a horrible correlation with Ronaldo, to be honest. And at 73, I mean, like, go here, go here. Like, I don't mind taking three United players in that matchup. Hell. There's enough cheap forward options to where, like I said, this is my favorite. Like, you still have 5,000. What about Ward Browse? What does that do to you? There's a really inexpensive 
midfielder with sets that you could play. Hope for a Connor Gallagher game and you know, maybe you can afford Juan Bissaka here. I'm not going to look at an entire lineup for you, but that's kind of where you're at. So I like that. No thanks on Alianusi. Again, Fornells can't stop scoring, 6,900. I'll sprinkle him in. Cucurella probably won't play. Nice player. Odegaard, um, 6,400. Like, if you're playing Arsenal guys, there's some sets. I guess a little goal upside. I'll sprinkle him in as well, like with a Lacazette or Lacazette and Saka. Uh, Train Cow was on more sets last time out. I want to say against what United? No, did he just have open play value? I guess he did. Tackles one interception. And four crosses against Spurs. That's what I remember. I don't know. Wolves are kind of all over the place. I wouldn't chase Wolves for sets, but Train Cow is not the worst play in the world. No well, thanks on Telemans or all Brighton. Staying away from Frazier. Mata won't play. Chill well, if you again, if you want some really weird correlation against um, De Gea. James Madison, how the mighty have fallen, 4,900. Still not touching him. Uh, Suchak will get his header goal eventually, 4,800. Play him if you can. Cantwell at 47. Nice way to run back that Arsenal game, especially if you're playing Pookie or Rashica. Uh, Ruben Neves wasn't on as much against United, and this I know because I played plenty of them. He was not good. Yeah, 3.6 points after, you know, 17 against Spurs, five crosses, five shots. Very active. Um, I'll go back to that well probably, 47. Like, if it's something I need, if it makes sense in the build, I'll get to him. Soon is always a good play at 44. Harry Barnes, if you want a real low – Owned goal upside shot. Let's see. Lee's Malou's been better. Uh, Elizabeth McAllister has been better and better at 4,000. And that Brentford spot is not horrible. These are all about, I mean, once you're down here, talk about a Connor Gallagher game, like that's kind of what you're looking for. And I think once you get way down here, like indeed he can make some things fit, but not a defender not gonna do much i don't know and then you got billy gilmore at three thousand sets min price you get the idea all right luke shaw great play Cancelo, no thanks um cresswell is he even on sets still four crosses against palace i mean he's still viable I'd rather play Tierney, though. I, in GPP, I might rather play Canos. Fall's been very good. I mean, like, all of these pay-up options are, like, good. I think Kinsella is my least favorite. Uh, ain't paying that for Richie. I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Anyone else I like down here? Home stock at four or five of the no thanks for me. Uh, pay attention to Wolves fullbacks. You might get some value there. Livermento is getting priced up. Again, Jacob Murphy, like because he's a defender, 4,100. Maybe that's your Newcastle guy. I know I keep talking about it, but like you only need a thousand some more to get to Wilson and uh, St. Maximon. Marcel, 41. Love it. I mean, look at all these crosses. Yes. I'll get there. Seeing not as much. Brown scored goal. Kyle Walker with the assist in international play. Um, I don't think Cedric's going to play, but keep an eye on that. Yeah, and then you're kind of down in the area of just pairing with your keeper. Uh, Max Aaron's at 3,500 isn't horrible. If you need a punt wing back or full back at least. Not much else down here though. If Zuma plays, it's a fine header chance. Uh, 
yeah, not someone else down here. Like this is just in a GPP. Like this is punt and pair with your keeper. I don't see anyone that might start on a wing. Danny Rose. Maybe it's Danny Rose. So yeah, I mean that's that's who's there. Um, pair Newcastle against United if you're not playing De Gea. Um, Arsenal and Norwich, Wolves and Watford provide a lot of value, and then hopefully United noted some of those cheaper value plays throughout the rest of the slate. But again, you know my thing: correlate, leverage. I mean that's what you're looking for. Um, some of the more expensive options, at least at forward and mid, aren't fantastic. So maybe find some floor and look for cheap goals. That's how uh, some of the greats do it. And I don't see a way where paying up here is, you know, paying up at multiple spots at forward all the way up. I don't see a lot of viable options here. Unless you want to go all United. If you want to go Greenwood, Ronaldo, Shaw, De Gea, like you can still find builds that work. Other than that, I don't know about Antonio. Um, but I've been saying that for a while now. I've been saying that and uh, I haven't gotten to him and he's still scoring, but that's going to do it. Subscribe, like, comment. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss anyone the last couple of weeks? Did I hit on someone? Just want you some money? Let me know in the comments. Um, again, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Lex Hooper. Tune into Golazzo, or this is Golazzo. Tune into Tilt City this weekend as we recap all the action. And don't forget to catch Gators Cash Optimal Build video that uh, will be out this weekend as well. Uh, good luck this weekend. And uh, hopefully you ship something. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in.